Ascot Ascot now then for the Ascot Novices Chase it's a two mile five furlong Novices Maiden Chase at the top we've got Eshara for Stu Gray Kieran Ascoli Padre Hogan Pellerin Martin Leedham the High Lord Joshua Sullivan Bat out of hell Graham Clitterbock Flying Force Leon Van Rensburg Fontainebleau for Padre Hogan Freeform Craig Beckwith Glen Leaney Kafer, I think that's called cool. David Robertson, Ice Cold One for Obi Wan, Island Town, and It's a Myth for David Hooley, Queen Athena, Paul Rhodes, and Rosa Mixer for Matt Cooper. So 14, and away they go in the driving rain. And Pillarin and Ishara are the first two to show for the commentary team with Rosa Mixer. Back in third, and then the High Lord fourth. But they're not going all that quickly at the moment, and they're racing down towards the first of 16 fences. These novices have got to negotiate, and Pellerin has now settled down into the lead. We're on the High Lord and Ishara as they get to the first, which they're all safely over, killing a Scully, just a back marker. And a very short one to the second, but they're all over that one nicely as well. Pellerin in front, the High Lord second. And then Ishara third. This is a ditch number three. And Ice Cold One has gone at that one. So that's only one horse out and Pillar and Green nearly went in the fourth. They call it thick and fast defences here at Ascot. It's not the easiest, of course, is the jump round. And Pellerin continues to show the way as they begin to swing into the straight. I'll take a couple of fences in the straight. That'll be the last two on the next circuit but Pellerin's got the lead from the High Lord in second and Eshara in third then Fontainebleau is back in fourth with Flying Force fifth and then Bat out of Hell and then Glenlini Kofa I think that's how you say it I'm not 100% sure what I think you say like that but I for some reason do but I'm sure somebody will put me right it's Pellerin in the lead from the High Lord in second Ishara third, so past the winning boat. Well, I'm take this fence first, and <laughs> hit myself there. And uh, they're all safely over that one, it'll be the last next time round. A big crowd turned out today in the rain. Almost Royal Ascot crowd, isn't it? Except they've got the wrong clothes on. And they passed the totalisator board. And they will now swing out for a complete circuit of the Berkshire track. And it's Pellerin who's got the lead and has opened up my five lengths all of a sudden to the High Lord in second Ishara is in third then Killing a Scully and Fontainebleau after that and Glen Lini Kafer after that one Bat out of hell and Flying Force Queen Athena is next free form and it's a myth and Island Town and finally Rosa Mixer at the back as they take the seventh which they will get over nicely Pellerin continue to lead from Ishara and High Lord who are alternating between second and third. Let's take it over that one. Again, all jumped it really nicely and got away from it well. Pellerin setting the pace. The High Lord now clear second. Ishara third. And a line of three or four lines to get over that ditch. All safely over this really good jump by Glen Lini Kafer is now in third place. Ishara starts to drop back. Pellerin dropped that one slowly in the lead and he's about to surrender the lead to the High Lord. Into the final mile they go then. And the High Lord and Pellerin with Glen Lini Kafer on the outside in third. Then comes Flying Force and Fontainebleau and then Queen Athena and Ishara. And then Island Towns after that one. And it's a myth, the one that's just starting to drop off the back of it is Rosa Mixer. I'll be heading for the Hunter Chases next week, but it's the High Lord and Pellerin as they get into the 11th. Over that one they go, all safely over it. And Glen Leaney Kafer is now coming through to take it up as they get to the 12th, and they're quickly over that. Pellerin fights back and regains the lead. The High Lord flying force is now a big danger as they get over that ditch, but it's the High Lord who's still landing in front there. As now Pellerin finally does give way on the inside. They take the third from home. A mistake by Pellerin. That's that one surely out of it. It's the High Lord who's in the lead from flying force in second. Fontainebleau is third. Then Queen Athena, and it's a myth running on. Glen Lini Kafer has also dropped away. The same as Pellerin. Bad hell. Hasn't got into it at all, but it's flying force and the 
High Lord from Fontainebleau and it's a myth. Then Queen Athena and Ireland Tank, then Lini Kafer and Pellerin trying to run on against O2's so Ishiara, but they've only got two more fences to take. This is the second last, and over it they go, and it's the High Lord who landed in the lead. The High Lord has gone a length and a half clear again in there. It's the High Lord in front, flying forces in second. Then comes it's a myth and Ireland Town, both trying to run on for David Hill as they come down on this final fence in there. The High Lord's in the lead. The High Lord by three parts of a length over the final fence. Lands in front. It's her High Lord from Flying Force. Island Town's trying to run on. High Lord's in the lead. Flying Force is getting closer. There's still half a foot on to go. And it's the High Lord in front. The High Lord's still holding on. The Flying Force is trying to wear him down. High Lord and Flying Force as they come to the line. It's got to be mighty close. As they flash past the post, the angle is deceptive and it could make a case for either of them depending on where you're standing because it looks as though Leon Swartz might have got up but then you think of the angle and you think of maybe High Lords or aren't so I don't know we'll wait and see it's a short head win for Leon Van Rensburg's flying force just got up and uh, Joshua Sutherland will be not very happy about that because I know he doesn't like coming second and that's about as close as not winning as you can get. The High Lord second for Joshua Sutherland Island Town for David Hooley was third. Fontainebleau for Padraig Hogan was fourth and it's a myth for David Hooley was fifth.